everyone, it's Haley. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing skincare. So if you're watching this, you may just be needing a few tips or maybe some product recommendations, or you could also be struggling with acne and hyperpigmentation like myself and just need some help. I've had ongoing battles with acne for quite some time now, and I finally reached a point where I'm really loving my skin with and without makeup. You shouldn't believe videos and TikToks you see because achieving glass skin will not be done overnight and it can't even be done in a week, just so you know. So I guess I'm going to show you this blurry ass picture of what I'm listening to as we set the vibe and get into this skincare routine. For reference, I have combination skin, mainly oily, and I do not have sensitive skin, so keep that in mind try products at your own discretion as you can see i had a lot of leftover hyperpigmentation that i was very self-conscious of but i was determined to get my acne at bay so that i no longer was dealing with the marks that it had left behind all it does is take patience so to see those results patience and also a good skincare regimen i'm going to be starting off by taking the clinique take the day off cleansing balm I'm going to work this into my skin for about 60 seconds. We all know the 60 second rule by now. What it does, it just allows your product to do what it needs to do. Five seconds, 10 seconds isn't gonna work. You need to do at least 60 seconds. Um, a cleansing balm is good to not only get rid of dirt and impurities, but it also is good to replenish moisture back into your skin. And this is definitely a necessary step if you wear makeup. Um, one wash won't do it. It just won't and I cannot stress this enough so I'm just gonna work this into my skin and then I'm going to take some water and rinse it off before I go into my main facial cleanser So now I'm going to be going in with my Natrium Niacinamide Cleanser for another 60 seconds. This is a gel cleanser and I like this one because it doesn't feel like I'm stripping my skin. You don't need that squeaky clean feeling in order to assure that your skincare is fully working. And the great thing about niacinamide is it has a lot of great benefits. So it helps brighten up hyperpigmentation, it fights acne, um, it improves your texture, it smooths out wrinkles, and it overall just keeps the skin very plump. I personally like this cleanser because it takes away one less step in my routine because I do use quite a bit of products. So instead of me having to wash my face and then later on apply a niacinamide serum, I can kind of kill two birds with one stone here. Um, so I'm going to rinse the cleanser off and go on to the next thing. And for vain purposes, I'm obviously not washing off my brows because you guys have seen me with no brows and I look crazy. And if you can tell, I don't use a towel to wipe my face often and i say often because sometimes i am lazy and i don't do my full skincare routine but usually i don't use a towel i just go straight to the next product next i'm going in with the polish choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant this product right here is amazing I'm going to use a large cotton round. I get these at Target and I prefer these ones or the one 
exfoliating facial rounds but i just put some of the exfoliant on the pad and i wipe it all on my face salicylic acid is great for your skin because it clears pores brightens skin smooths texture and if you have noticed there's a pattern brightening the skin clearing pores smoothing texture we want that baby skin well i want that baby skin look and as you can see my skin is far from perfect but it has come a long way from the picture shown in the beginning Our next product is the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Essence. So I just started using this product in my routine and I honestly really love it because I notice my skin is very hydrated in the mornings from the hyaluronic acid and my pores don't appear as large. So with this product, the kombucha protects skin against pollution and the mandarin extracts even skin tone. So I pour this into my hand as you saw and pat all over my face and then I just wave to dry my skin i don't know it probably doesn't do much but i still do it so here is the origins plant scription new serum this serum has a lot of peptides in it which helps reduce fine lines boosts the collagen in our skin and helps with firmness so i'm just going to work this all over my face For the star of the show my curology formula i have used curology on and off for a couple years now but i have been using this now for about seven months continuously and this product is definitely what has been helping fight the bad bacteria that causes acne my prescription has tretinoin clindamycin and azelaic acid if you don't already know tretinoin is one of the most effective medications when it comes to treating acne and also wrinkles wink wink but clindamycin is an antibiotic that helps stop the growth of bad bacteria along with azelaic acid um so these both just fight the bad bacteria and help clean out your pores you don't necessarily need curology to get these products but curology just makes it easier which i enjoy now i'm going in with my eye cream and i use the dej eye cream i got this from my dermatologist um because a while ago i got under eye fillers to reduce the dark circles under my eyes because i do have three children and don't really get a lot of sleep but surprisingly you can buy this at walmart so that's where i linked it below and it helps tremendously with dark circles so if you're in the market and need a good eye cream, I highly suggest this one. <laughs> These next two products that I'm going to show you, the Clean and Clear Persa Gel and the Mighty Patch. I use these two in conjunction when I have a breakout. I'll put the Persa Gel on and then stick a Mighty Patch on afterwards. But the patch only works if your pimple has come to a head. So if your pimple is closed up and you put a Mighty Patch on top, you're basically wasting your product. So you should wait until you have like a white head to use it. This is my SkinFX Barrier Triple Lipid Peptide Cream with a mouthful. This is a great moisturizer, especially if you live in colder climates where your skin is feeling extremely dry. This moisturizer is amazing. I love it. I love looking like a glazed donut before bed, but, and it feels great on the skin when you rub it in.
this next product is the pharmacy honey savior this is honestly to die for as well and i feel like it's not talked about a lot it's kind of like a hidden gem this product is great for getting rid of hyperpigmentation and it doesn't necessarily have that claim but the ingredients in this definitely speeds up the cell turnover rate my friend put me on this back in october and i haven't stopped using it also i like to use this because the new slugging trend that's going on it acts as the same because it's basically the same type of consistency as petroleum jelly now i'm going to spray my face with just some rose water just because i like that added touch and it feels good Lastly, I'm going to be going in with my Laneige lip mask. If you know, you know the girls that get it, get it. This is a holy grail in basically all of our drawers. This particular flavor I think might be sold out, but any one of them are great. Um, you just wake up and your lips feel like you just applied chapstick. It's amazing. So I just want to say thank you for everyone who's watched my tutorial. Just remember, like, clear skin cannot be done overnight. You just need to be patient with yourself. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.